happy with somebody else. No, you know what? Mm -hmm. Is there such thing as happiness without someone losing? Oh, that's a great, that's a great debate. Like, yeah. could you be happy without someone else suffering? I guess, I guess if you get your happiness from helping somebody else. Mm -hmm. So you have to be like, um, no, unselfish. Well, what's a word? Selfless. selfless. You have to be selfless. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the only way though. Yeah. And we always say like, if you never experienced sadness, you would never experience happiness. You know what I mean? Let's say there's a room of us, right? Yeah. And then boom, there's only a certain amount of food. Okay. And we know, okay, I need this amount of food to be happy. Mm. But me taking this amount of food means less food for somebody else. So is there such thing as fulfilling oh. your happiness without making someone else suffer? Fuck, that's, that's somebody, different though. I guess somebody has to like yeah. take the L, right? No, but in one person's mind, if they take the food, mm -hmm. they could be happy and not give a fuck about the other person. But maybe for another person, it's like, oh, yeah, I, I don't feel happy no more because I took it from that person. Okay, what's your take on, like, let's say somebody winning the Oscars. Okay. And <clears throat> even though there's so many different runner-ups, one yeah. person wins. So everybody else loses, right? Yeah. So on that sense, like, do you take away people's happiness for you to be happy? No, but that's on them, though, to feel... Yeah, I agree. I agree I mean? this. Yeah. I agree this. <laughs> but regardless, don't you make, like, everybody else suffer, in a sense, when you're on top? Unless but, there's people proud of you. But mm, that's rare, right? Yeah, it's, it, it's like the Oscar thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like if I wouldn't feel sad because, oh, I didn't work hard enough. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? But other people, yeah, they, I guess they would feel sad. Yeah. It's I was weird. watching this movie last night. Yeah. It's called uh, Brothers. You ever heard of this? No, no, no. So... This is like one of the saddest movies I watched for is sure. Is it new? No, it's old. Oh, this okay. came out a long time ago. It has a, yeah. uh, you know, Tobey Maguire. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. Me? But this is one of his like seri first serious roles. Oh, okay. Anyways, it's about him. Mm -hmm. He plays a Marine and he has a family. The movie begins with him picking up his brother from jail. And his brother's been in jail for like however many years. Yeah. yeah. He picks him up, brings him home. And his, the father's, like, angry with him, always comparing the brothers. Like, yo, your other brother is he's serving his country, feel yeah. me? He has a great family, great wife, kids, blah, blah, blah. And the other brother feels, oh, fuck, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a reject type of thing. Like, mm. all I did was rob banks and stuff. And now I'm just a criminal, a bum. Okay. So in the, in the movie, what happens is Tobey Maguire's character, the Marine, mm -hmm. he ends up in a helicopter crash out in war and pretty much like he's he's gone yeah and the brother he ends up taking the the place of the father becoming like the father figure in the life of the kids and with the wife the wife and him almost pretty much fall in love no that's weird yeah so but if you think about it he's fulfilling what the lack of right yeah okay he's fulfilling the lack of because without the dad like what's gonna happen mm -hmm, mm -hmm. now this is the plot twist i thought that was the plot twist. no this is the plot twist toby mcguire's character is still alive so in the helicopter crash what actually happened his character he was kidnapped by the taliban and they put him in a cave yeah. they were torturing him and they Yo, they had him trapped for like however long. Holy smokes, bro. He was it was him and his private. So mm -hmm. both of them together, they would torture him, try to get information, make videos of them like torturing. Yeah. But there was this one moment right before he actually gets rescued. Yeah. But what happens is the Taliban force him to kill his private. Oh. They they force him to kill his his team member, pretty much. Uh huh. Because they say if you don't, we're gonna kill you. Yeah. And he does it. But you can imagine what that would do to you. This is right before he gets saved too. Wait, wait. wait. Yo, okay, keep going. Is there more? There's a lot more. Okay, okay. Tell me, tell me. So, so what happens? He gets rescued. Yeah. And he comes back to town. Now okay. when he comes back, what happens? Because the brother is, is already the dad, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The brother's already taking care of the kids. So me, the brother's already <laughs> with the wife type shit. Yeah. So when he comes back, everything changes. Uh -huh. But him coming back, he's so messed up in the head because of all the torture and the trauma he's been through mm. he's not the same the kids don't love him anymore okay bro there's one scene where they're at the dinner table right and then the dad he's getting pissed off at one of the kids playing with a balloon toby <laughs> toby yeah toby okay he goes, and he's like no and he's giving ptsd right okay because he was in the war yeah <laughs> yo he's he screams at her 
He screams at her and she starts crying, right? When she starts crying, you know what she says? What? You're just mad. Mommy loves Uncle Tommy more than oh, you. Hell you're nah. just mad. They have sex all the time oh. and when you're not here. What the? <laughs> Yo, but that's not what happened. Uh -huh. But in his head, that's what he thought because he was he was already assuming that shit. Mm -hmm. And he went crazy and like, you know. Fuck. There's more drama to it, but I don't want to get into details in case you guys want to watch true, it. True. Wait, but when he came home though... So he's already the dad, right? Yeah. Like the other guy is the dad. He's pretty much the dad. He took the place of the dad. Yeah. So did he did he know when he came back to the village? Like the the mom told her, or no? They're still keeping a secret. No. So this is what happened. So when he came home, it was a surprise. They thought he died. They literally yeah, thought, yeah, so, they, oh, they had a funeral and every they had a funeral and oh, everything. That's crazy. But they got a call from the U.S. military uh -huh. that oh yo he's still alive by the way. They come home and. He's, they have to like you know go back to oh their old God, life type bro. shit. Yeah, but it's not really the same because the kids already love Uncle Tommy, and when they see the dad, the dad's already broken. Yeah. He can't really connect to the kids. No, he can't really connect to the family. Mm. It's sad, fam, because at that point it's like you sacrifice so much yeah. for the people back home, but when you're there, you're a different person now. That's why people, a lot of people, like saying that. Okay, even though he say say he did die, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. People that marry other people in the military, I hear so much shit about, oh, them having another, affairs. Yeah, affairs yeah. because they're gone for so long. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I would even, like, I, I understand why they did it because, oh, yeah, your dad died. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I gotta, it's fucked, but at the same it's time, still it's your, fucked. And the fact that it's your brother, it's your brother, it's girl, even more fucked. That's even more fucked. <laughs> okay, okay, if you were in that case, if you're in that case, I would take care of the kids, but not in that way. No, no, no. But okay, <laughs> let, let's let's say you're Toby Maguire. Okay, let's say you're his character. Your brother, your own brother, yeah, started dealing with your wife. I come home, I'm shooting. The whole ass down <laughs> that's what. <laughs> the, that's pretty much what was gonna happen. The moment, the moment I find out some shit, the moment my kids are, yeah, uh, blah blah blah, he's fucking every day. Yeah, I want that shit. I'm out. <laughs> You know that scene where like I look I look back for the last time and I go like this and then I turn away on some movie shit. Oh my god. No, that's insane, bro. Cuz it's tough at the same time, bro. Yeah. Cuz for him, he kind of did like he he left everything behind in a yeah. sense. Mm -hmm. So when he's gone, somebody has to kind of step up. True. Which is sad cuz <laughs> you know the people still need their their figure. They still yeah. need their person. Yeah. It just hurts deeper because it's family. You know I, I know, mean? that hurts, though. Yeah, yeah. I think me, <clears throat> I would allow it. You would allow I it? I would allow it. Just because just because it's almost a thing of um, who's, who's there no if I'm not. No way you're not understand. No way. Okay, no, I, I get your understanding. You get me, though? I the, do, the I do. Who's there if I'm not type yeah, of thing? Yeah, I know, I do. But it's like, uh, I feel like uh, taking it to another level is too much. Like, you can, you know that's my wife. It was a wife, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not girlfriend, it's no, wife. No, no, it's wife, So yeah. it's like, yeah. You can take care of them. That's I expect you to do oh, that. Oh, the plot gets thicker. Why? What? So, so the the wife, right? Yeah. When they were in high school, Uncle Tommy tried to get at her before. Oh no! Nah. But so she it's... she wasn't interested and ended up dating her brother. Oh yeah. So it's it's an ongoing thing. Yeah. The moment I come back, <laughs> the, the moment I come back, the whole family's getting. Oh man. You know what I mean? Because when it's like that, when there's um. When there's pre, what do you call it? Yeah, like uh, what do you call this? There's, there's a prelude to the. Yeah, yeah. There's a whole. There's a the whole backstory. Event. When there's a backstory. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's different. Yeah, yeah. If it happens by accident, oh, okay, maybe, <laughs> maybe. But when there when there's a backstory, it's different. Yeah, it's premeditated. No, nah, you're too you're too understanding if you still allow that. To be honest, I would allow it low key. At the end of the day, bro, if I'm not there to, it's like my dog. Like let's yeah. say let's say I had my dogs and I couldn't take care of them no more, and they have a new owner. Yeah. Fuck, bro. At least they're they're getting fed, they're getting taken care of. Okay, but that that owner is fucking your wife now. <laughs> like, like it, there's just too much. Okay, I guess so. You know right. what I mean? Like, yeah, you can take care of my dogs, but there's always an add-on. Fuck, bro. You can't, bro. I feel like there's definitely some. If if that ever happened in in real life, yeah, there would be some almost. Do <clears throat> you think there's such thing as curses that happen curses. with with situations like that? So, oh, like karma, it will come around to that guy. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, mm. you, you know, you know when something bad happens, and mm. it's almost. Um, I don't want to say this is it. I don't mm. want to say that they deserve it or anything, but it somehow fucks up later in the line, kind of like a butterfly effect. Mm. Like one bad thing was done, and the sins of that kind of curse the family in another way. Probably, like it might not happen to him, but like maybe his kid might have trauma in uh 
when he gets older, mm. and then he might erupt like all that built up emotion from that trauma, like oh blah blah blah. Yeah, you know what I mean. You it's, think so? It's hard to say. It's hard yeah. to say. I would love to believe it's almost like a. Because this is the way I see it. Yeah, yeah. If if your if your um ancestors yeah. had certain feelings and certain intuitions about things, mm -hmm. for example, the dad was in 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 war. Yeah. And then let's say he had a kid with that same body chemistry. Mm -hmm. Would the kid turn out almost like a a hardened kid because he's felt and been through that type of frequency? Yeah, he probably. He might and especially been, right? when you're young, that shit affects you. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? But yeah, I'm surprised that isn't a... They're probably based on... No, that's too personal. It has to I be. I don't know if it's based on a true story. <laughs> Some guy, I don't know the director's wife definitely got fucked by another guy <laughs> and he wrote that story. No, there's, there's another... um uh This crazy uh, true crime case that happened this year yeah. with the FBI agent. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you heard about... um So there was a guy named Vincent, yeah. right? And he lived with uh his parents. Like He was still living at the crib, but he was 30 years old, right? And he was like one of those believers like, oh, yeah, um, your dad, my dad, he's part of the Matrix. He He's a puppet under the government. Because, oh, so he thought it was a simulation. Yeah, yeah, because he works, his dad worked for the FBI. Oh, so he's shit. like, you're a puppet of Biden. You can't do, you, you can't make your own decisions, shit like that. Oh, right? okay. So they always had arguments. And one night they had this crazy one where it erupted to the point where they had, they the guy went into the kitchen, the son grabbed the knife and slit uh, his dad's throat. Damn. Yeah. And this is where it gets crazy, right? Yeah. So he goes on YouTube and he opens up his computer on some, like, you know, the Sneeko rants? Well, he'll just be right there mm -hmm. talking to the camera. He'll be like, oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Everyone, you guys are a simulation. Uh, talking about- So this is on a live stream. No, a YouTube video. YouTube video, yeah, okay. Yeah, he started recording. And uh, he, he started talking about politics. As soon as he's done talking about politics, he's, he grabs his dad's- decapitated head no. and look yo he shows it on the that's he's like, this crazy is what he's like this is what y'all get blah 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 and fam you can watch the video on youtube i mean well there's pictures and stuff but it's like blurred out it's not blurred it's out it's not blurred out that's the thing that's crazy and the video when he first uploaded it 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 was uploaded for five hours straight and then it was taken down damn no blur fuck? no blur like they I, probably thought it was fake yeah, probably. But I I don't recommend anyone to even, like, look at pictures of that yeah, shit. Yeah, that's traumatizing. It's, it is traumatizing, bro. Some yeah. guy read the comments, like, she she saw it, and she started vomiting. Oh, shit. Yeah. But he definitely has, like, problems, you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> like, that 100%. wasn't a regular case, right? Yeah. No, it wasn't. It was one of those true crime, like, you're yeah. crazy in the head. Okay, so check this out. Yeah. Canada's most famous and most evil serial killer yeah. is about to be released. And they're gonna decide whether they're gonna release him or not. That like now, tomorrow. What the fuck? <laughs> so tomorrow I'm gonna tell you the story. I'm gonna tell you the story. Okay. And I want you to let me know. Okay. If, if you think this guy should be let out. I bet. No. Me? I'm already <laughs> saying I'm pre pre no. <laughs> so his name is Robert Picton. Yeah. Robert William Picton actually. They call him Willie. Okay. Now Willie. I don't really blame him so much because he has such a terrible backstory, mm. but he had a abusive father. Okay. He grew up in a farm and his whole family, they were almost had this, this very like rural feel to them. Mm. No matter what they did, it was kind of dirty. It was always very rugged. They, they weren't living in great conditions. Oh. The house was always a mess. It was always like smelly. Yeah. He would get bullied when he went to school for smelling like a farm animal. Okay, that's kind of... And all the kids and people that have done interviews about Willie, mm. they said, yo, we were terrible to the Pictons just because where they came from. Fuck, okay. Anyways, they had one of the biggest um, pork farms, like pig farms okay. in British Columbia. Literally one of the biggest. So if you were in the 80s and you're eating pork, it was probably from this farm because it's one of the biggest. Now, when Willie grew up, he was still kind of like, you know, hard about being bullied and stuff. Oh, there's a crazy backstory. Uh -huh. So there was one time, this is still when he was a child. Mm -hmm. His mother was driving him and his brother and they accidentally ran over some kid. So they're driving on the road and ran over some kid. Okay. Anyways, the mother hops out and notices, oh shit, we just ran over this kid. And Willie and the other brother are like, oh fuck, what do we do? <laughs> yeah. You know what the mother does? What? Looks at him and sees that he's injured 
and decides, oh man, he's probably dead. They toss Don't. him. They toss him oh, to the okay. lake. They toss him to the lake. But check this out. Yeah. Later, when the police find the body, they brought it into the hospital and they found out that the boy didn't die from his injuries. He died from drowning. Oh, so he was so still it alive. Was, it was the mother's fault for putting him in the lake. And you yeah. can imagine as a kid, he was seeing his mother have like no remorse for a human body. Mm -hmm. Now this is his upbringing. Yeah. But when he became an adult, that's where shit got, got crazy. So he started like being violent. He, yeah. Okay. He started to use his tendencies that he grew up as. Uh, one, of the, one of the biggest things too, uh -huh. and a lot of like people that studied him say this is why, is because he grew up as a butcher pretty much like, he grew okay. up with animals, loving animals, and, and witnessing his father murder them in front of him. Mm -hmm. When he would like say, oh, I wanted to have this this pig or this this calf my whole life. Like, I want to be his friend. And his father would just murder it in front of him and say, are you crazy? Oh. This is food. Like, type of thing. So he's already desensitized. Okay, tell That's me what he did. All right, tell me what he did then. Bro. Like, why, why is this guy locked up and so why is he getting The released? reason, <laughs> the whole reason... He's Canada's most evil serial killer okay. is because this is what he used to do. Now, in the 80s, he used he was actually a, almost like a millionaire because of his family's uh, oh, earnings. Butcher place. Yeah. Okay. The farm made a lot of lot of money. Mm. Anyways, he ended up getting affiliated with the Hells Angels. You know the biker gang? Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. And what would happen, they would actually host parties at the farm. The Hell's Angels would just be like, oh, I guess he's a weirdo, but like, let's just yeah, use yeah, his land. Okay, okay. And they used to call it <clears throat> the Piggy Palace. Oh, just what? because it's a pig farm. Yeah. But they would just host like, I think there's some events reached to 1,800 people. Damn. A night. Is this, like a, is this like a Illuminati type party where no, they're doing no. weird stuff or it's just a party? No, this is so this in British Columbia. A lot of the people that came there were um, obviously the Hell's Angels biker gangs. Yeah, yeah. A lot of prostitutes and mm. you know that type of crowd sketchy okay, okay. people but anyways <laughs> him willie being willie yeah what he used to do since he didn't get a lot of luck with girls having all of those people at his farmland mm. he used it as a way to kidnap women and kill them oh shit. so what he used to do he would not only kidnap them and take them from the farm drag them into like another building take them out what he used to do he would take their bodies yeah. use the flesh of it and feed it to pigs now what would happen to the pigs they would consume it consume it consume it yeah and those pigs he would cut the meat and sell it and it would go into circulation of the food industry in canada no. so no, no, in no. the 80s if you consumed pig or pork there was likely a lot of contamination with human flesh, real human flesh, bro. bro. So this is this is like real. Yeah. This is real history. Because they were the main part. Like they were, they they were, were the a source. huge. This was a huge <laughs> GGs, like bro. pig industry. Yeah. No callbacks. And it was there. Now it got even crazier too, uh, because for um the ground pork and the and the minced meat. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to tell, no. He used to mince it and mix it. Ew, yeah. He would mix it. <laughs> this guy's a demon. Yeah, he would mix the the human flesh with the pigs. Back this, bro. I'm pretty sure he was doing this for like over ten years. <laughs> oh, and take this in: over forty nine victims. Only forty nine victims. That's Damn. a lot. Are you crazy? Nah. nah, yo. If he's the main source, I'm imagining uh, that at least maybe Damn, 49, 49 victims before he got caught, though. That's oh. a lot. <laughs> that's a lot bro yeah that is okay that's quite a lot yeah but so he would he like since he would have the parties we go back and forth uh -huh. and obviously these people like the you know the prostitutes mm -hmm. when they go missing not a lot of people would ask that many questions yeah. so he was smart in that way of like okay i'm gonna i'm gonna target these people okay and use them because i know they're not gonna come back mm. nobody's gonna look for them but that's what he used to do he used to literally take human flesh, mix it with pork, oh, and fuck. sell it to grocery stores. That's crazy. That's crazy. He's, so why is he getting released? So oh, wait, I think how he's long on, has he been in jail, though? Check this out. Check this out. Let's see. Let's see how long he's been in jail. Like if I he has, don't know. Like, if he has a take a type of case, like 60 years, and like he was he was arrested at like 20, let go at 80. I, check I, this out. I, this I this is very recent. Seven hours ago, 
Holy so pig shit. farm serial killer Robert Picton can apply for parole, for day parole on Thursday. Oh my God. So the bro can, he might get out. Yeah, yeah. But we'll see, like, we'll, we'll see what happens. Families of Robert Picton victims brace for horrific day parole application eligibility. So he's not going to be out, like, confirmed, but mm. it's just, like, he his, uh, his appeal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Damn. But this is literally Canada's biggest... That's most crazy. evil serial killer. How bro. old is he right now, though? He's. Let's see. Let's see. Search up his seventy-four. Okay, see, like he might, he might have one of those cases where maybe he was arrested or young. He did his time, but at the same time, what was he arrested at though? It might. It has to be young. There's no way that he. When let's go. was he caught? Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, he was caught in February two thousand two, but oh, then he wasn't young. Damn, it doesn't say his age, bro. Yeah, but you just do the math. He wasn't young though. Yeah. Because if he's seventy four, he's yeah, seventy four 74. right now. He yeah, fam, two thousand two, bro. Yo, he, he was he only might still locked. have it in him. <laughs> that's <laughs> he what I'm still saying. Have it in him. Nah, yo. So you lock? No, that's crazy. Cause that those guys, do you turn them into cannibal cannibals? Not even by choice. Not by choice. Yeah. You know what I mean? So what is that? What count is that? Nobody knows. <laughs> thing. It's such a, it's such a rare case. Yeah. And it probably affected a lot of people that don't even know it affected. That's them. what I'm saying. But it should it shouldn't be. It should be at least fifty years, maybe. Dog, that should be your life sentence, that, fam. That's that's forty nine people. That's a lot of people, fam. Yeah, and he did it on purpose too. And he did it on purpose. Yeah. Okay. And not only did he kill them, he. Fed them to oh, people. Oh, like he killed them? Yes, he killed them. Wait, the 49 victims, they died. Yes, what are you talking about here? So I'm saying it's a lot. I thought, I thought you ate it and then like, no. you maybe got sick. No, 49 people <laughs> were murdered. <laughs> bro, hey, I'm thinking 49 people were <laughs> murdered and turned into hot dogs, bro. That's fucked up. Oh, okay, 49 victims. Oh no no! I, I I was thinking forty nine victims that ate that ate, ate like the, 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 no, no, the no, no. human. That's you know not I mean? no forty nine. There's 49. probably way more. Yeah, that ate it. Yeah, yo, probably okay, all of yeah, Canada. This case is crazy. Probably <laughs> all of <laughs> Canada, <laughs> fam. <laughs> it's it's probably if, if you get a hot dog in yeah. the freezer from the eighties, it's probably it probably has some human in it. But yo, <laughs> no. that's why they're saying. Yeah. That's what they're saying. Um, even today, uh-huh. like you can low key find at least. A one to two percent of human DNA in hot dogs today. Word. That's why it's crazy. Yeah. Because in the mob, what the Italian mob would do, this mm. is this is common practice. They would feed bodies to pigs to make people disappear. Whoa. Mm-hmm. And then they would the pigs just shit it out, and there's no more evidence. No more evidence, because pigs would eat anything as long as you like ground it up properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They will. They literally eat, they eat poo type of thing. You know. <gasps> Yeah, never mind. Yeah, that guy, that guy should be locked up for way more. Bro, bro that should be a life sentence. I was literally bro. thinking because when you first told me it, I was like, 49 people only eight. No, the, the people, people, people meet murdered, bro. Yeah, I know that's crazy. No, that's that's insane. a lot. That's insane. That reminded me of the game show. You know that game show where it's like, um, uh, what's in it? We have a secret item. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> and then and the girl's like, is it is it chocolate? Is it mint or is it human flesh? <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. See, that would have been light. If there's only 45 people that, or yeah. 49 people that ate the thing, that's soft. See, then I would be like, okay, yeah, l- let the guy go, maybe. You no, know what but I mean? The, he was taking bodies and chopping them and putting yeah. them into food, bro. Yeah, that's fucked. Okay, but yo, uh, speaking of uh, the understanding part, mm-hmm. do, are you understanding enough to be like, okay, I get. I get his um childhood. I no, I do though. You know I, what I mean? Like it, it always is because of the environment. Yeah. Not to say he's he's right or like I don't think I don't think they should let him out personally. Mm-hmm. But it is I understand where where these things come from. Like they come from terrible cases. Mm-hmm. Terrible people come from terrible cases. Facts. They don't usually just pop out of nowhere. Like they have a backstory. And you see it all the time in comics, movies, the villains. Mm-hmm. The villains have some of the hardest truths, yeah. the hardest, hardest backstories. Mm-hmm. And you can kind of see where they come from when you realize, okay, they had a life before that. Fact. Oh, yo, do you know um, there was a dark origin for Smurfs? I don't think we ever talked about Smurfs before. Nah. So, you know um, Gargamel? Yeah. How everybody's saying he was the, the bad guy in Smurfs and yeah, the Smurfs yeah. are the good guy? Fam, it's the complete opposite. Wait, why? So, um, you know um, Gargamel... It was based on an actual person. Who? So Gargamel was a priest in the 13th century. Oh, right. right? And um, when he was born, his family was in poverty, right? Mm-hmm. And his family couldn't afford like to keep him. 
You know what I mean? Back then, because they didn't have the funds. So they dropped him off and abandoned him. So they dropped him off in a basket outside the church. And then that's how he became a priest. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. And then all of his friends that um that he grew up with in the church died. You know mm. what I mean? And then uh, what do you call this? He went into depression. And it's a coincidence that when he was in depression, there was a cat that uh that he adopted and his name was um It was like a fallen angel or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I remember the Smurfs. Oh yeah, Azriel. Azriel, yeah, that's yeah. like that's and like it, a fallen yeah, angel or something. It translates shit. to uh what do you call this? A fallen angel. Yeah. So now this is where the Smurfs come in. The Smurfs are actually the bad people, the evil people, and they represent the seven deadly sins. Word. At, at least seven of them. So I'll read them off. So Greedy Smurf obviously represents greed. Yeah. greed. Brainy Smurf is envy and pride. Lazy Smurf is sloth. Mm. Grouchy Smurf is wraith. And then Smurfette, what do you think she is? Lust. Oh, you know what shit. I mean? And if you notice, if you notice, Papa Smurf, he's the only one that wears red. Red. He wears red, yeah. The red symbolizes the... Oh, like the devil? And he's the leader of the pack. Oh, you shit. You know what I mean? So, in, so the whole theory is that uh, the Smurfs are the evil people uh, trying to go to these civilians, and but uh, the other guy is actually the good ones protecting them. So, okay, but in in the Smurfs, yeah. he's always trying to capture them and shit. Yeah, but maybe he's trying to capture them to like get rid of them. Exactly, but he doesn't do anything bad to the Smurfs if you really bag it. True. You know what I mean? That is true, still. Does he hurt the Smurfs? No, but the Smurfs hurt him. Yeah, you know you what? Know you're what right. I mean? You're right, still. So you can never, you can, there's always like this le- weird, like, oh, you could, he's the villain. Nah, bro, peep the backstory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, bro, release the meat guy. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Fuck that. I heard, though, I heard, I don't want to yeah. get into it, but you guys can do your own research that the Smurfs is low key really racist about, um, Burn. About like certain people, I'm I'm not gonna okay. say it. I'm not gonna say it here. Yeah, but like you guys do your own research. Yeah. There's other theories about that. True, okay. it's crazy like that. Yeah. But but you can imagine these cartoons. They come out at a time where this shit is regular. Yeah yeah yeah. Like uh Tom and Jerry. So in Tom and Jerry, the the original woman mm-hmm. was a black woman, like the the one that tells Tom and Jerry to to get away and stuff. Yeah yeah. She was actually supposed to be depicted as like. You race. know the yeah like the the the, the, oh, the home yeah, yeah. caretaker, mm-hmm. but the voice they used for her was kind of racist and stuff that they didn't like it, and they switched it now, like in all of the Tom and Jerry that we would have grown up on, yeah, is some white lady, yeah, with, yeah, like with shoes. That's facts though, because it's like how you said for that time it was normal. Mm-hmm. You know how um everybody was trying to cancel uh, King Batch because yeah. on Vine his whole thing was. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make a video about black people, about a black stereotype. You know what I mean? Where it's mm. like, uh, throw the watermelon in the pool. Oh, a black guy catches it. You know what I mean? <laughs> and like, yo, bro, if he did that now, <laughs> bro's gonna get fucking yeah, exiled. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> get exiled. <laughs> bro's actually gone, fam. But that's the thing. It's like it's a comedy for a different type of time. And though, yo, the funniest thing. Did you see his Twitter video? No. Nah. Uh, like he was he was topless and then he wrote the names of everyone like that got that got murdered mm-hmm. and then he was saying you can't do this like blah 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 and then the Twitter everyone on Twitter is like you're the last person that needs <laughs> to be talking about this. <laughs> that's jokes though. <laughs> that's jokes though. No, that's facts though. Like bro, you're you're like the most racist. <laughs> Okay, where's the see? I don't think it's a problem, yeah. But people find it a problem now, you know what I mean? Yeah, like I don't think it's a big deal, but I can see the the thing of like, oh, you guys are profiting off you know, racist stuff, yeah, yeah. But nowadays, yeah, you can't, yeah, nowadays you can't, Mm -hmm. but I don't see a problem like it being done, like it's done, it's done, what's done is done type shit. Mm -hmm. Like, obviously, you make it now, it's different, but watching it and canceling them from the past, why are you gonna cancel someone for the past? That's a different, that's a different earth, you know what I mean? That's a different, that's a different dimension, dimension, yeah, but yeah, bro. We we just have to have faith in humanity to be honest. Yo, freaking um, I feel like I feel like there's gonna be more and more people using the the AirPod Max shit. Yeah. Cause I seen I seen a video. Okay. Literally on the subway, like a couple people, they're just straight up locked in, gone. Yeah, yeah. Do, 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 yeah. Do, do. Literally. But but the gone. thing is, I thought you couldn't see. I thought you couldn't see past it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I thought you're locked in only No, your you bubble. can see through. Exactly, but there's there's just shit floating. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
But yeah, it's weird. There, there's a there's a recent um what do you call it? There's a recent theory okay. coming to light right now. Yeah. So Elon Musk yesterday, uh-huh. they just announced the first ever human to have a Neuralink implant. You hear about this? Oh, the chip? Yeah. So there's there's one successful Neuralink person in the world right now. Oh, happened shit. yesterday. But check this out. Yeah. Because there's a there's a crazy theory happening. They put Neuralink into a calculator. Uh, it's like a numerology calculator, uh-huh. and it comes out with a number with all the different letters. Word. Now, I think they put it here. I'm gonna show you the video. Yeah, let me see. Check this out. So this is Elon Musk on Twitter, and he pretty much said. The first ever human got Neuralink, right? Okay. Now, somebody put Neuralink, the name, mm-hmm. into a Gematria calculator. It's like a Greek num- num- numerology calculator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Puts it in, and guess what the number is? What, seven? No. 666. Oh, hell no. Nah. So, people are saying that Neuralink, just like in the Bible, mm. they say people will be implanted with the mark of the beast, which is... 666 oh. and since this is happening now yeah. they say eventually everyone or a lot of people will be tempted to do it them getting that will be the mark of the beast so that's yeah. that's like the end of times coming so wait what does that near link benefit to that person did you know it's just tech fam so it's pretty much like having a phone in your head type shit really this is really it's gonna be like iffy yeah no that's that's that has the same as selling you fam you you have a neural link in your head now people are controlling you that's not a yeah. way to live like that's the most unnatural way to live if you really bag it i know but there's yeah. certain people that would do it you know yeah what I mean? that's true there's the the celebrity ones i don't know if you've seen the the recent theory too mm-hmm. about how britney spears is a clone and they're just AIing her face nowadays Britney Spears to make more money off her. I'm not surprised, bro. Have, I'm not no, surprised. but okay. This is Loki, like the the Howie Mandel one, because you know how there was like Howie was making random it's videos, sub- subliminals. Type yeah, shit? yeah. No, not really subliminals, but like she. It's very weird. Yeah. So recently on her TikTok, she's been posting videos of her like dancing, like in front of the camera, and just like being all weird and doing like these random moments. Mm. You know what I mean? And it's not weird, but it's like it's the weird because there's maybe like five to ten videos. Yeah. So I'll just show you. Like, this is not the Britney Spears I remember, bro. She's been through a lot. Yeah. <laughs> no, but look, look. There's just mad oh, videos. Oh, because she looks different, too. Yeah, yeah. It could be a, a face app on her. Stuff. See, but yeah, no, but that's the thing. So here's the theory. So <laughs> there was one video of her when she's, like, in her garden. Yeah. And uh, she's in a yellow dress. So I'll put the picture up. And then she's doing, like, all these weird hand movements, right? Mm-hmm. And when you slow the video down... Her hands, like in the video when she's doing like the fast movements, mm-hmm. show like a green screen behind oh, shit. her. What yeah, the so fuck? I'll show you. I'll show you the video after. And then, uh, right when she puts her hands up, yeah, in between like her armpits, it starts being blurry. Oh shit! Yeah. So it's fake. Yeah, and the craziest one. This is the craziest one. You know when you're in like doing a, a face filter mm. and like something blocks your way and yeah. like the face filter kind of shifts. Yeah, it shifts. Bam! She went like this and it went down. And the face filter kind of went off for a millisecond. No. And people have been clipping it saying, this is not the same Britney Spears. I'll oh, show you. Fuck. I'll show you. This is fucked. But so it's not her just using a filter though. No. Because it wouldn't, it would show, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll show you the, the, the first part. Look at this one. So her hands go up. And then look, they pause it. Oh, <gasps> shit. Did, did you see that? Did you see that? What the fuck? Look, fam, that's not the same eyes. Yeah. She has different makeup on. And then boom. When it switches, boom. That's not the same. Yo. Yeah. And that, yo, that's only evidence number one. Mm-hmm. Number two, on her wedding day, yeah. they said her whole wedding was AI'd. Wait, how? So I'll show you the video after. Wait, so wait, this is recent? Recent, fam. Oh, shit. So uh, there was a, uh, when she was at the altar, Yeah. her face and her body are two different shades. And mm. this is how I think they're doing it. Th- this is the theory. Whenever they want to AI her, she's wearing a choker. So it's oh. like a visual aid saying, oh, yeah, this is where the neck connects to the body. Yeah, AI, yeah. this is how you do it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And yo, every video of her wedding is either in low quality or very far away. Oh, shit. Damn. She even has a quote. She's like, I wasn't really present at my wedding. What's Damn. the fuck? What? I'll, ju- I'll just put the picture up then. 
Yeah, yeah. But yeah, her it, all all it was is you can tell it's like yeah, it's fam, not. this was like it had bronzer and then her face like red. So we've all been through this before. Whenever you're online shopping and then you go to your checkout and see it takes eight weeks to ship, or maybe they're adding another thirty dollars for shipping. Usually the normal person would just leave the site and not buy the product no more. That's why shipping can make or break the sale. And as your business grows, ShipStation can help optimize how you ship your orders so you can stay competitive while you scale up. So whether you're doing a hundred packages a month month or thousand ShipStation lets you automate routine shipping tasks and easily handle returns. So I personally recommend ShipStation for anyone that runs a business because they have a free trial and a quick setup. So it's easy to try things out before you commit. And with ShipStation, I'm paying way less for shipping than I used to. And as a result, I can put in more money into different areas of my business. So with ShipStation, you can easily automate shipping tasks and manage orders in one simple dashboard. Rules and automations allow you to print shipping labels at the click of a button. Everless integration everywhere you sell online, including Amazon, on Walmart, Shopify, and more. You guys can manage orders, print labels, compare rates, optimize every shipment, and automate delivery notifications. ShipStation has enterprise solutions that reduce warehouse costs and improve profitability. As your business grows, you can save thousands on shipping costs. And ShipStation's robust automations and reporting makes scaling easy. It has industry-leading discounted rates from USPS, UPS, DHL, and Global Post with discounts up to 89% off USPS and UPS rates. And over 130,000 companies have grown their e-commerce business with ShipStation and 98 companies that stick with ShipStation for a year become customers for life. So optimize and keep your momentum for growth with ShipStation. Use, prom use our promo code JUMPERS, J-U-M-P-E-R-S, today at ShipStation.com for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com. Promo code jumpers. Remember, remember that long time ago I told you a, a story how mm -hmm. there was a Britney Spears house and there was a there was a couple that moved in and when they moved in they were almost like cursed and wait in Britney's house? Yeah, so one of Britney Spears' like old houses. Yeah. It was they call it like either cursed or haunted or something. Oh shit. Because there's a couple that moved in. Mm -hmm. I think she's an actress and married some some other businessman in like that type of area mm. but she ended up passing away mysteriously yeah dies and the man she was married to also dies mysteriously mm. something up with the house but people say like it's either haunted and it's the same thing that caused britney spears's whole career to end up like that mm. when she started going crazy she cut her hair bald and everything yeah. like that who knows yeah you never know i think i think there's some things with with houses i feel like houses hold like a spiritual uh -huh. you know energy <laughs> yeah. depending on who lived there uh -huh. what's what's dope about this place it was um it was like catholics that lived in it right true so it's, it's probably it's blessed, blessed. Yeah, it's probably yeah. blessed but you have to be careful that's the thing because mm -hmm. if you just move into some random house 100. there might be some you know remnants of energy there yeah. now in spain there's this family okay and they moved into a house they were living there for a while well, all of a sudden, their concrete floors uh -huh. started having faces appear on them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, yo, this is what's crazy too. Because the faces would appear. It's almost like stains on, oh. on the concrete. Faces would appear clear. Oh, like no. clear ass faces. They would wash it off. Wash, 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 right? Yeah. It's gone. They come back in the morning. A new face appears. What the? I'm gonna fuck? show you the pictures. It's no, trippy. Nah, you got pictures, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the pictures. It's fucking trippy, bro. Let me see. Is Look it like this. a golem from Minecraft, like hella so, pixelated? No, it's it's like Clear it looks pics? it looks like a painting type of shit. Fuck so that. this is the Pereira family in Spain. Okay, let me see. Check this out. Look at this. Oh, what? The f this is actually. Look, look, look. It would just it would, it looked like a face, right? Nah. And then they would wash it off, and then the next one would appear. And then they would what wash it God? off, and the next one would appear. What? Look at this. Look and at then, this. Yo, it's clear. Look, look. And you can see like the eyebrows, the eyes, the nose. That shit's Feel clear. Me? Yeah. Nah, yeah. bro. So this, this has been going. Look, this one's the craziest. This one's mine. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's that's too obvious. <laughs> this one's what? Now, if I see that one, I would be like, yo, what the? What are you doing right now? <laughs> so check this out. Yeah. So there's a theory. Mm -hmm. The theory goes, this family, ever since they had these, like, hauntings, yeah. they would have tours and, okay. and bring people to go investigate it and look at it. And they were trying to profit off of it. Oh. So check this out. Theory goes that 
the first couple occurrences it was real. were real. Oh, but eventually, okay. <laughs> eventually <laughs> when they got to this shit, <laughs> they started, <laughs> when they started putting this shit off, <laughs> that was them. <laughs> So started, what probably happened yeah. was there were ghosts haunting it. They started making bread off that shit. The ghosts are like, "Yo, what the fuck?" <laughs> they dipped, and it would it would stop happening. Uh, like, oh, well, we need the bread. We need the money. And yo, W marketing. What they, what they did? They started drying that shit themselves, bro. <laughs> when it got to the really ugly faces, they're like, "Yo, what is this, bro?" <laughs> But yeah, because um, I think the Spanish government literally yeah. did a real investigation to look at this shit. Because they were confused. Like, this is some real phenomena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they took scientists in there. Uh-huh. They took scientists in that base. They they swabbed it. Everything did some tests. <laughs> like, yo, wait a minute. This is literally just like, this is an acidic mixture of, I think it was tar yeah, yeah. and vinegar. And it was painted on type Damn, of thing. Damn, bro. Mm-hmm. Well, they got to that stuff. But apparently, like, the first few mm-hmm. were legit. Yeah, yeah. But they just ruined it. They just they just went along. They continued and rolling with yeah. it so they can make some bread off of it. Yeah. No, W Market, though. Loki, like, they're hustlers, fam. Yeah, I can't they're blame hustlers. Them, you know what I mean? But, yo, you shouldn't be profiting <laughs> off. <laughs> like, you know, you know how it goes, like, if you... If you they know you're profiting off you, or like they're, they're probably angry. Fun. They get angry. These guys just dip. Their karma was like, nah, you're not gonna make no money. <laughs> they're not making no more. Like, Yo, you think you're gonna make more? I was like, you're crazy. Their karma, was, their karma was embarrassment. <laughs> Facts. There's there's another theory too. Uh-huh. Um, you ever hear about the Amelia Earhart theory? The reason she went missing. So. You know how the theory go? The first theory was like, oh, she landed in a in an island and she ended up just staying there. Yeah, yeah, I know that. But she one. was actually alive. Yeah, yeah. There's another theory, and this one's dark. Okay. So the person Amelia Earhart, Amelia Earhart was married to, uh-huh. was this guy, right? And he was the one that bought her her plane. Okay. You get me? She he was actually her manager. Oh. That she ended up marrying. Yeah. You feel me? Check this out. <laughs> yeah. Amelia Earhart's plane crashed. Mm. The guy bought her the plane. Feel me? Yeah. He's the manager. When she dies, since he's married to her, who reaps the benefits of all the fame and all the successes when she's gone? Him. Him. Mm. So theory goes that he set up that plane to crash so that he would take all of the riches when she passes away because that's her manager. Some Elvis shit. Because yeah. you know, like how Elvis is manager, he was just like pulling the strings. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But obviously, that's not for sure. I I actually really like the theory of how she landed in um in one of those tropical islands, and yeah. they you know the one with the stamp, like they made stamps of her. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was like some random island, mm-hmm. and people people were like, "Yo, why is Amelia Earhart on her stamps?" And they said, "Oh, she landed here." But would that just be like forty checkers? Like he he made sure. To get the stamps out, so like that would be that would be a distraction to him. Oh, like maybe this whole thing was actually planned out. See, the thing is, like you can't really blame it on on him because you have to connect him to the plane. Yeah, unless no, there but, was. Yeah, like you said though, like maybe he did he did fuck up the plane. But how do you prove that if the plane's in a crash? You get me? Mm. See, that's the thing with the you know the Titanic submarine. Yeah, like there's no proof to say it was tampered with because it's already. No, that's true. destroyed. Yeah, how are you supposed to tell? Yeah, that's true. But I feel like I don't know. Just during like that time and like there's a big thing going on. I feel like uh, human nature would just be like, nah, like let's just do the wrong thing. It wasn't no landing on an island. Like this was all planned out from the beginning. Yeah, maybe. Like I, I, the one conspiracy theory I believe the uh, the Bob Marley one where what's the Bob Marley one where um he was pricked with cancer. Oh shit! You didn't know that? Nah, I have to watch the Bob Marley movie. I haven't watched it yet. Yeah, yeah. I I, I didn't want to go because I feel like uh, a lot of people said it was all patois or something. Thing and like I, I don't know I can't understand patois that good. It's like English, bro. <laughs> no, but you it's live in different. Toronto. How do you not no, understand it? It's different. Though. <laughs> this guy's from Toronto. Does not understand oh, patois? Come no, on, not nah, <laughs> No, but it's actual patois though. Like you know how like that's they, Toronto. No, no, no. That's not the Toronto. <laughs> Toronto is fake patois. I don't care. I don't care what you say. But yeah, but uh, instead of uh, you know how we go in the ghost uh things like the hauntings. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you you know about this this guy in Toronto. He goes and like he takes groups of people and he does takes them to houses that yeah. are are considered haunted 
and he does his own rituals with him. What the fuck? Yeah, his name is uh fuck. I think it's James White Sentence. Okay. I didn't know about this. But you can you can ask him to go into a haunted house and he'll do a thing with you. That's fucked though. You know I'm not mean? doing that See, shit. No, no, and and it was crazy because one of his videos leaked, right? And what happened? And there was like they it had like a security camera in the house that he was in. Yeah. I don't know if it was in Toronto because he goes everywhere. Mm-hmm. But he I think he was in a in a group with maybe like 15 to 20 people, right? And they were all like this. Yeah, doing like, like a seance. Yeah, yeah, in like a room, right? And then there was two guys at the edge that were kind of like fucking around, like, oh, this is bullshit. Like, this James mm. guy isn't really about this life. You know what I mean? Mm. And then, so James starts asking and communicating with the ghost in the room yeah. out of nowhere. And, and he asked, oh, ghost, is there anybody that you're harmed by or is there anyone that in the room that's going to harm you, you think? Uh, show me a sign. And the ghost, nothing happens, right? Mm-hmm. And then he's like, "Is he asks, is it a male? And then I, like it goes quiet. Yeah. And in the video, you see two the two guys that, that are fooling around in the corner kind of turn around. And there's an explanation from that guy that came out. And he said... In, he saw him. No, no. He said behind him, he heard something. Yeah. But th- when he turned around, there was nothing there, mm-hmm. right? And then James asked another question. Give me another... S-. And then as soon as he says sign, the ghost pulled two of the guy's chairs. Oh, so shit. So they went like this. They went flying back. What the and fuck? And then the, everyone in the room was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? And the camera's cut. I'll show you this. Hold on. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we should do it low-key. Nah, <laughs> fuck that, no, because, because it's in a controlled area, you know what I mean? No, but how do you know he's not onto some shit that... He's trying to take your soul too. Maybe, maybe. You get me? Yeah, yeah. yeah be careful key. with these people. So look, they're all in that room, right? Yeah. Is it a male? I peeped this guy. Oh, shit. As soon as he says, is it a male? He gets pulled back. Because there's a door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a door there. Is it a male? It pulled him back. He looks like he would partake in this. (laughs) Bro, looks like he would partake in that shit. No facts. Fam, there's a two-minute video of him explaining every detail. <laughs> Fam, Loki was one of those Esteban ones. <laughs> Loki was, oh. you know, the Esteban uh, sweet life of Zach and Cody comes. <laughs> where yo, just... <laughs> but, <laughs> yo, but how do you know? How do you know that shit's not just a business? That's what and I'm he's saying. planning it, feel That's me? what I'm saying. Because, because... Now he can... That's a big group. <laughs> that, that's quite a big booking. $50 each? Yeah, that's a big booking, bro. At least 30. Let's say you had like like 50 people in that bit. Holy shit. <laughs> Bro's making bread off what? Nah, Loki, you, yeah, you opened my eyes. Because Loki, why was he the only one to get pushed and he's the only one with the door behind him? Nah, that's kind of... <laughs> that's iffy. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of iffy. It's a bit iffy. Yeah. He might have planted somebody part of the group. Type mm, shit, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was one of those I feel like the, the only way to really know it's if it's real, if yeah. you know every person in that room, type True. Of thing. Yeah. But if there's some strangers, yeah, some of those strangers might be, you know, moles. Okay, okay. Type shit, That's right? Because <laughs> I have a theory that certain concerts or certain um performances uh-huh. they'll plant people in the crowd i feel like that's true oh for what like energy purposes like oh g- like let's mosh just just for the sake of like a good show mm. you get me because imagine it like this let's say you have a comedy show and yeah. you needed to bring someone on stage yeah you would you would want to bank on like a random person being a good okay you no know? okay yeah i get but that at the same time would you not want to have a guaranteed performance Mm. You probably pick someone that's like already just yeah. planted there. Okay, comedy undercover sh- type. No, shit. I get it. Comedy shows, I get because mm-hmm. I've seen that happen. Because like one, uh, there was like this female comedian, mm-hmm. and then there was person in the cloud, and her alarm went off out of nowhere, right? Oh, and then and then the female comedian said, "Oh, uh, oh, t- uh, time to take your birth control," and that was the whole joke. Because like oh. alarm is like, "Oh, take your birth control," and everybody started laughing. And she continued the joke based on the based alarm. Based off that. But yo, if you really bag it, like, okay, yeah, comedians might be good on their feet, but that having three jokes in a row yeah, about how do you an know? alarm. How do you know? That's kind of if. I'm not going to lie. It's a bit iffy. It's a bit yeah. iffy. Like, for some people, they can really freestyle, though. Yeah, yeah. Dave Chappelle, he can freestyle that shit. Yeah. No no problem. Wasn't, weren't you at the show when he, like, anybody shouted something, he would go yeah. off it. But yeah. that's it. So, my uncle, even though we were at the Dave Chappelle show, he yeah. had his theory. He was saying the woman at the end that was, um like, you know, talking shit at, at him. Yeah, yeah. She was planted. 
that's what his his theory was. What, what was because the... he's right at the end of the show. Okay. And what was her purpose? Like she, she to end the jo- like the last joke type thing. I I guess to, just to like make a ruckus. Like okay. Just to she wasn't even saying anything that crazy. She was just like speaking out at him. But he would make some jokes off of her. Okay. Okay. So it's it's iffy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Who knows? Who yeah, knows for really? Sure. For sure. If I was a comedian on my first show, Loki, I would have one of you guys like do something stupid. I can make fun of it. Yeah. Yeah. Because if we're if we're talking great performance, that's how you come out with mm-hmm. a great performance. You just yeah. plant that. As as a like a magician thing. Yeah. A magician show, yo, you definitely want somebody there to like. 100. Oh fuck, the cards in your in your purse, you know. Hundred, bro. Check your purse. Type yeah. Shit. No, even like um, if a man freestyles like, mm-hmm. or they're doing a rap battle, bro, like. A rap battle like can go any different way, so it's good to have something prepared at least. Mm. Not even have a, a prop, but at least just have prepared, so you can have that one. You know, what I mean, in a freestyle on the radio, fam, I feel you don't like want to fuck up. I feel like the best ones have props and prepared props. Exactly, too. Loki, yeah. the ones that are like so <laughs> off, like off script. Like what the and fuck? Then, and then you have the the remember Iggy Azalea on Sway, and then yeah. she's like the call in, she's like. Get her off the radio. She is fucking trash. <laughs> That's what happens when you're not prepared, fam. <laughs> like, at least come prepared. <laughs> but that's just a hater stuff. No, it's not. Because her freestyle was trash because she had nothing prepared. True. You know what I mean? But maybe she did prepare that. Yeah, okay. Maybe then you're just ass. I <laughs> what if that was actually her prepared days? I go lie. <laughs> but yeah, at that point. I don't want to pick a different pick a different genre. So. That's true. Okay, but so, okay, maybe since the James White thing might be fake, I have to Loki get, get another uh, TikTok video in. Yeah, because there was one that I seen where uh, this girl tweeted out right, mm. and she was like, "Oh, I was just searching in my drafts. Did you guys see that guy behind me?" Right. So the whole TikTok video what is a. Uh, I'll show you. Uh, it's, it's weird. And see, I want to see if you think it's it's actually real. Yeah, or not. yeah, yeah. So this girl was in a parking lot. By herself, and she she was with her sister. She gave a whole explanation. She was with her sister in an empty parking garage. She set up her phone, and she was dancing. Yeah. Right? And, like, it was super weird, but as soon as she moved a bit, and she did, like, a dance move to the right, mm-hmm. there was a guy, like, there, uh, turn backwards for a second, and then she would go to the camera, pick it up, and then the guy would leave. What the fuck? Right? Yeah. So people are saying... It was either a glitch or like that guy <laughs> fucking time traveled in the video. Look, 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 I'll show you. Okay, watch the video. Yeah, yeah. Let me see. Okay, okay. This is weird. Okay, keep watching. <laughs> what the fuck? No, and then look. look and then she, gone. It's gone. Oh, yo, that's weird. That's what I'm saying. That's so, weird so stuff. I, so I, I think that I think it's it's one of those paranormal things, like a skinwalker, like appeared. It might, it might be. Yeah, uh, I think it, it might be a ghost. Yeah, man. because be a yo, ghost. if you're dancing and a person comes close to you, you would at least feel like some or type hear, of aura. Because yeah, especially in like a parking garage like that, it's very echoey. You would yeah. hear footsteps or whatever. Exactly. He's in a he's in a suit. He's probably wearing dress shoes. That's he what would I'm hear saying. the. Feel me? Yeah, and why was he walking backwards? You know what I mean? No, no, there's got to be something weird. There's There's a picture online of yeah. this, um, like, this family on stage. Mm-hmm. And there was a photographer, like, a, a serious photographer. They, yeah. When they took the picture, they seen somebody else's, like, shoes and, like, pants behind. Oh, I think, yeah, I You've think seen I've seen before? something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's always somebody in a suit. In a suit. It's interesting. It's always somebody in a suit. Yeah, I have no explanation. For that. I have no explanation either, but it's just like interesting. Yeah, bro just came off his 9 to 5. That's my only explanation, to be honest. Theory? Oh, this is dark. Yeah. Theory? Maybe, where was this? In New York? Uh, I don't know, to be honest. Probably in America. Probably but think America. about it. Because if this happened in New York. Yeah, what would happen? Like a lot of people die with a suit on. Why? Because what tragic event happened? Oh, no. That's so, fucked. So... A lot of souls would have been like, you know. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of fun. Yeah, if you if you want to get dark with it. Yeah, I didn't know you were going that. <laughs> oh yeah. My God. Yeah, fam, it's 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 pretty dark still. <laughs> that is fucked. Yeah, I get it though. Because maybe that's why there's many ghosts with suits on. Yeah. That's sad though. Super sad, bro. Because um, a lot of business people too, especially in Japan, mm-hmm. like you would hear about it if their their stocks are going down or whatever it may may be with their business, mm-hmm. they would literally like, you know. 
Straight up. In suits, too. In suits. Yeah. In suits. Yeah. In suits. Because whenever I see like a, a Japan homeless person or like uh, a guy laying on the floor in the train, it's always a guy because he either got overworked or he, yeah, it's always mostly overworked in Japan mm. for some reason. Because they just push themselves very yeah, hard. Yeah, they yeah. have very high standards for themselves. Yeah, yeah. But in the States and shit. Oh, have you heard of the, what do you call this? This was jokes to me, but there was this thing called the, the hitch bot. Nah, what is that? So it's like, so they, a guy sent like this, uh, a kid sized robot yeah. to like hitchhike across the world, right? A kid sized robot. Yeah, like so a- it was a it was a little one. Okay, okay. And it was a robot, so like it can't go far. It the like the whole point of it is it wants people to take it to places. And yeah. It, and it would take, take pictures. Take pictures. It had the whole that's bucket fire. list, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's fire. And it was so funny because it went to Canada, right? Yeah. It made its way to Germany, Netherlands. Oh, that's sick. Fam. <laughs> The moment it touched the U.S., it went to Philly first. <laughs> Bam, the hitchhot got chopped. <laughs> the hitchhot, as soon as it touched Philly, fam, there was a guy. And got they, destroyed? And they, fam, they, they took the head off. Oh, my God. They ripped the arms. Bro. Everybody in the comments was like, that's so USA of them. Oh, my God. They man. said that shit is a PvP zone. <laughs> <laughs> it's a PvP Minecraft. They said everywhere else is just peaceful, uh, creative peaceful mode. mode. It's PvP. As soon as they landed in Philly, it's creative. I mean, it's survival. That's cr- that's a crazy take, though. Imagine the last picture that you see. In the world. <laughs> that was the last. Oh my god, bro! Ah. But yeah, and yo, it's funny too because it it, it kind of disrupted the whole point of the the bot. Yeah. Because the guy created it because it's it was like a social experiment to see like where it would land. No, the no, point. like humans versus robots because it's we always have that questions like, uh, can we trust uh robots? Mm. But now can robots can robots trust, trust humans? <laughs> and we can. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting take, actually. Though. Yeah. That's interesting, still. Who who cre- you know who created this? I don't know. I don't know. But it it's was, called Hitchbot. Yeah, Hitchbot. But it was some guy that wanted to travel the world. But maybe I think he was too old to do it. Word. Yeah. Yeah. That way. Yeah. That's, yeah. Got that's <laughs> fucking chump. Did you see the the Deadpool trailer? <laughs> nah. The Deadpool Wolverine Wait, trailer. There's new one coming out. So Deadpool three is coming out. Wolverine's gonna be in it. This is like the biggest Marvel movie that's ever oh, gonna come out. Okay, good because fucking you know Madam. Madam Web, Web was. <laughs> So, no, I have you a theory it? for that. You yeah, watch yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. I, I, you have a theory for this? Yeah, I have a theory for it. But it's not based on the movie. Oh, okay. It's just that they made Madame Web so bad that on TikTok, it would... Like, the whole marketing on TikTok was, yeah. oh, yeah, Madame Web is bad. But at the same time, that would lead people to want to see how bad it was. Oh. Because right now, that's all I see on my shit. Madame Web is trying. Madame Web is bad. I'm like, yeah, bro, yeah. Loki, fam, it made me go watch the movie. Word. You know what I mean? I'm not a Marvel it's, it's guy. On, it's on some like Morbius shit. Yeah. Yo, it's pretty bad still. Yes, fam. Fam, they had one of the, they have some of the greatest fam, actresses Spider-Man of our Raph time. Was better. Than <laughs> that. <laughs> really? Sp- we shot, that, we shot that on no budget, bro. Spider Man rap. <laughs> we shot that shit on nobody. They have millions of dollars, and they yes, made that. Bro. No, they spent it all on Sydney Sweeney. That, that, Loki, Sydney Loki, Sweeney, that was the only reason. Dakota why I went. Johnson <laughs> and Isabella Merced. They had the be- they had like the best cast. They had a fire cast, but bro. they they ruined it, fam. But there's a there's a Deadpool theory, Deadpool okay. Wolverine theory. Yeah, yeah. What is so it? there's people saying that they're gonna do the there's a comic. Mm-hmm. It's called Deadpool Kills the Entire Marvel Universe. Now check this out. As the state of where Marvel is right now, the movies aren't hitting. Yeah. The the movie that came out recently, The Marvels, people did not like it. Word. Madam Web, obviously, you know, like Trash. people didn't like it. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people didn't even like the past few with um Gar- I like Guardians of the Galaxy, but some people didn't like it. Really? Either. Yeah. Hey, Guardians of the Galaxy was good though. I, I thought it was fire. Yeah. But there's a lot of people saying like the way the MCU is moving. It's not great, mm-hmm. especially um, Quantumania. So Ant Man, and then they introduce the character. Um, you know the the guy in Creed, Jonathan Majors. Yeah. So Jonathan yes. Majors is supposed to play Kang, Kang the Conqueror, and he was supposed to be the next Thanos. Oh shit. For the MCU. Yeah. But check this out: the movie was so bad for Ant Man Quantumania, they decided to just scrap it. <laughs> oh, fuck. So the theory is yeah. that in Deadpool. Wolverine, when this comes out, okay. the, the premises of the movie is going to be Deadpool pretty much killing off all of the stuff that Marvel didn't like 
to start fresh. That's fire. Because there's a comic book called Deadpool Kills the Entire Marvel Universe. Mm. There's a comic just like That's that. That's a fire way to do it. Because you can lie. think about it, they just added like the multiverse and stuff. So he's going to be hopping through all the different verses. <sighs> Killing just, every Just murking yo. all of the ones that, that weren't fire. Yeah, every okay, so that's a perfect way to do it because everyone loves Deadpool. Mm-hmm. And you know what's time. sick? Yeah. Is um they're they're recasting a whole bunch of old, old uh, Fox Marvel characters like right. they're getting the old Daredevil in there they're getting the old Elektra in there they're oh, getting shit. the old Fantastic Four in there yeah. yo they're getting the old X-Men in there it's it's crazy the Fantastic Four is coming yeah, back like the OG oh okay yeah, it's lit. that's it's why lit. it's lit. lit so we're gonna see literally our childhood <laughs> yeah, old yeah. old Marvel <laughs> films those people in the film and Deadpool is just murking them yeah fam we called it though because it's like um how uh movies now have to base it's all based on nostalgia. Yeah. Like, they, there's no directors that can make a new plot that will hit to us. I know. For some reason. I know. You know what I mean? It always has to involve our childhood. At, at least at least right now, because that's they know that it sells. Yeah. They, they know it sells, and they're scared to risk more. Type exactly, of thing. yeah. Because they don't want to get too, like, different with it and then fail. But I think... Uh, it's also this generation too. It's like, we're very judgy when it comes to things. You know what I mean? Mm. We want it like, if Spider-Man didn't have that type of ending, they would have had an outrage, no? We all... Oh. Or like, if, if something was different, like, imagine they didn't introduce that, that uh, all three Spider-Mans. They probably mm. would have had an outrage. They probably would. Because they hyped it up like that. Exactly. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's a, that's, that's a crazy take. We think we, think we control how it's directed, but it's like, sometimes we have to sit back and let them do their thing because that's how... It, it became Cause, yeah because these days the studios will try to do what the majority people want and that's where they're, they're that's where they're wrong. falling off is because it should be the opposite <clears throat> it should yeah. they should feed us what we don't know we want yet yeah that's and that's why the the fan films and shit like that mm-hmm. way better storylines be greater yeah my i have a great theory like mm-hmm. i think this is going to be true yeah i i'm predicting it right now i think like the film industry mm-hmm. and the ent- entertainment industry is going to move all to youtube and I think YouTube. Netflix and, you know, the movies in the theaters, they're just going to slowly, slowly, slowly kind of die off. Word. And not because the content is that, like, bad, mm-hmm. but because the content on YouTube will get better. Mm-hmm. Because it's getting cheaper and cheaper to make films. Yeah. Because we literally did Sp- yeah. the Spider-Man film on, yo know, like, a very low budget. Mm-hmm. But because we are able to afford the camera equipment that you wouldn't be able to afford years ago. Exactly. Like a camera like we have right now would have costed maybe like 60K yeah. back in the day, but now we can get it for 7K. Because mm-hmm. I, fam, I always tell people this, especially when they're talking to me about the film. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, Carlos has no experience in, barely any experience in acting, <laughs> no filmmaking, thing. but fam, it's all based on passion because yeah, he likes literally. this shit. Yeah. And like, it shows because it's not, obviously it might not be the best, but you know, mm. where, you know the intention. You, yeah, you know the intention, you know I mean? exactly. So I feel like if if maybe, oh, Marvel signs you, mm-hmm. I would. I feel like it would be worse for you because they would make you do ideas that maybe you wouldn't even want to do. I wouldn't want to do. You know what I mean? It's mm. not It's not you now. Mm. It's and that's, a, that's a great take <clears throat> because it's always the thing of like, Okay, there's certain things the studio wants, and then there's certain things the artist wants. But because the artist is under different people telling them what to do, they can't put out what they really want. Exactly. It goes for any media, even this podcast. Like, Mm -hmm. if someone told us, if we We can't talk about certain things, come on, bro. Like, that. this is the whole point of the podcast. Yeah, yeah. That we're allowed to talk about something. So, I think, bro, what's gonna happen is because of that attention to detail with artists being able to do whatever they want yeah the freedom of it being able to live on youtube i think youtube is on its way to a place of like yeah peak peak entertainment with everything else because everything else is slowly kind of dying because look look at the movies out right now yeah i know it's kind of <laughs> mid i'm not gonna cap like <laughs> i wanted to watch a movie but there's literally none there's nothing yeah like, yeah i would love to go out to the theaters right now and be excited to like oh let me watch this there's nothing really like that. Maybe Dune. Dune yeah. is probably gonna be fire. Yeah. But like, there should be a lot. <laughs> yeah, facts. Yeah, I mean, there should be a lot. I should be, I, I should be overwhelmed with which one do I pick? Yeah, yeah. That's Back why in the like- day, we had so much. We had freaking, we had Cars, Pirates of the Caribbean, Monsters Inc. All at the same time. Like, oh shit, yeah. which one do I pick? But yo, props to YouTube now because the culture isn't movies. It's what yo, what's going on on YouTube. 
Yeah. You know I mean, it and fam, is. YouTube's been around since freaking what? Since our parents were born, fam. I know. And the, the, it's still to this day, still and we'll to this day. and we'll probably get bigger because that movie stuff. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think that's where it's headed, bro. Yeah, yeah. I, I did ask. Think that's where it's headed because mm-hmm. it. We literally have all types of content there. Yeah. We have the short form content. We have the long form content. Now we're having movies. Yeah. There's already movies that live off there. Yeah. It's only a matter of time where the the quality of it becomes to the same level as Hollywood. It's raps. Yeah, yeah. What are they really gonna do now? Yeah, that's true. And with the with the small oh go ahead, yeah. My bad. But because we have the attention. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I'm I was saying. gonna say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no. And with the smaller creators, like there isn't that much of an expect expectation. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I feel like with the bigger ones, oh, if it's trash, you'll hate right away. Mm. You know what I mean? But like like the the sh- uh film writers in Toronto, like Rank Say, mm-hmm. fam, I, I was ready, I, I watched this shit and yeah. I was ready, I go I was ready to hate. Yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> I, I I remembered his last one. I was like, I, that didn't it's really not, like it's not your type. Yeah. yeah. But fam. His new one, bro. Mm-hmm. I watched that. I'm like, yo, this is kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah. Like for a man to think about that, yo, it's it's fire. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's different. Yeah. And then that's that's what's great about about technology getting better. Yeah. The artists that didn't have their chance, they had their chance today. <laughs> exactly. They exactly. literally today. Fam. Yeah. And, and someone said that Madame Web yeah. was AI scripted. <laughs> <laughs> yo, theory. Yeah. Cause cause apparently um it was changed so many times they didn't yeah. know what to do with it. Yeah. It could have just been AI. Come on, bro. Like like whenever I, I go to a movie now, I have to rewatch a good movie. Like I, I went back and saw anyone but you again. Mm. Because they, there's no one there's, else. There's nothing else to watch. <laughs> else to, was that actually good? What anyone? But yeah. yes, bro. But you like rom coms a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yo, I, I promise you, give it. Time. It's like um Utopia, like you give it time to marinate. Because everyone's saying, oh, it's a corny movie. No. You have to watch it for what it is. That's yeah. the thing. You have exactly. to watch it for what exactly. it is. Fam, give it 20 years. That's going to be one of the biggest rom com. I promise you. Word. Yes, bro. Okay, I'm going I'm to watch it. I haven't yeah, watched yeah. that one. Go, go watch it, fam. <laughs> also, watch Spider-Man Rap <laughs> coming out in March. <laughs> Follow me on my... Or sorry, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You guys can find all the information on that. Yes, sir. And make sure to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, make sure to go down to Spotify and Apple, download those episodes. Give us a five-star rating. We love you guys, man. All right, jump and jump out. Deuces.